CVT or practically it is called CCVT that is coupling capacitor voltage transformer. For VT the secondary voltage is 110 volt. If we increase the primary voltage beyond 132 kV then we have to increase number of turn n1 by n2 and that will lead transformer more bulky and it will be most cost effective. Therefore, to cut down the VT size and cost, a capacitor, capacity potential divider is used. As shown in the figure 1, the reduced voltage is fed to the primary of the transformer. This also leads to reduce the size of the VT. This leads to development of coupling capacitor voltage transformer that is CCVT. Simple diagram of CVT has been shown in this figure. In this figure, C1 is the high voltage side capacitor. C2 is the capacitor across the primary side of the voltage transformer. A1 is to 1 is the transformer turn ratio. ZB is the secondary side burden impedance. Here, BC2 that is voltage across C2 is by BC1 plus BC2 is equal to C1 by C1 plus C2 where BC1 is the voltage across the capacitor C1 BC1 plus BC2 is equal to actual primary voltage to be measured. Capacitor C1 is often constructed as a stack of smaller capacitor connected in series. This provides large voltage drop across C1 and small voltage drop across C2 and thereby it reduces the required insulation level for VT. This makes CVT more economical. If we draw the Thevenin's equivalent circuit referred to the primary side then and then we can see that there will be a voltage drop across the capacitance. The Thevenin's equivalent circuit is shown in this figure. Here BTH is the Thevenin's equivalent voltage and 1 by J omega C1 plus C2 is the equivalent capacitance and S square by ZB is the burden referred to the primary side. To nullify the voltage drop across the capacitance, a tunic inductor has been introduced in the equivalent circuits L. It is purpose to nullify the voltage drop across BC. The phasor diagram is shown in this figure. The inductor, the value of inductor is so chosen that it compensates for the net C at power frequency that is 50 Hz in India. The final equivalent circuit of CCVT referred to primary side has been shown in this figure. Here, omega L is equal to 1 by omega plus C1 plus CT. The voltage drop across C is neutralized and the relay C is the actual voltage to be measured. The capacity voltage transformer has been shown in this figure. In this figure, you can see the high voltage capacitor, intermediate voltage capacitor, electromagnetic unit, intermediate transformer, compensating reactor, the damping device. Here, 1A and 1N and 2A and 2N are the secondary terminal for the CVT. A damping device is introduced for nullify or reduce the ferro resonance problem in CCVT.